the how so many worship songs are are definitely meant to praise and be more upbeat and you definitely get that with Hillsong and Phil Wickham and there's great songs right sure. but then yeah. like you're right there is like that missing element sometimes of like the Psalms also incorporate grief laments which are all part of Christian life yeah absolutely, absolutely. and and there are times when we desperately need those and even if see i i, I work through the psalms on a on daily basis my anglican tradition in the prayer book you get through the psalms every month there are some monastic traditions where you get through the psalms every day oh you, wow you know you do them quite fast and of course you know them by heart so you come in at two in the morning and you have your service there and you have four or five or six or seven then you'll have um lords or matins or whatever at five and then at eight and then midday prayer and afternoon and evening and night prayer and you're rattling through them and it means of course that everything else you're doing during the day you've just got the psalms mm. as your resource the whole time um which is an amazing but anyway um i i say work through them and sometimes i get to the the, the lamenting psalms and i'm not feeling like that at all but I know people who are lamenting right now. There are Syrian refugees bobbing around in boats in the Adriatic Sea trying to get some to rescue. Um, I can pray that psalm of lament for that family, which is a perfectly ordinary family that because of geopolitical nonsense has lost everything and is desperately needy. And I can hold on to them with that psalm, even though I'm feeling happy and comfortable. And other times the other way around, I'm feeling miserable. And here I've got a really cheerful psalm. Oh, well, Lord, I'm glad somebody's cheerful today, but it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and you, can, you can do that. It's, it's, that. That's part of being part of the body of Christ. Yeah. And I think sometimes the struggle with reading the psalm, like you were getting at too, is that it can sometimes be difficult like we don't know exactly the illusion the metaphor being used oh, um of course. yeah of course. yeah so so how do, how do we get through those bits if, if you you can keep a notebook you can keep a journal and uh you know every so often i really don't know what psalm 65 verse 2 is all about and then you can when you probably not during the prayer time itself though some people would do that you can get a commentary you can go online there's lots of resources online now um or you can pull a commentary off your shelf if you're lucky enough to have a commentary on that book and you can look and see what other people have made of it and you can get i've got maybe 10 or a dozen different trans different modern english translations of the bible here um and i just did a search this afternoon earlier on because i'm writing a commentary at the moment and i wanted to look through a passage in all the different translations i had and make notes on um, how they handle particularly tricky verses and that kind of joggles you out of an assumption that it must be this and oh wait a minute maybe there's that and then um, when all else fails you can take it to your local pastor or preacher or whatever and say what do you make of this and that's fine um, you don't have to be able to solve all the problems all the time I mean life's not like that and there are many, many things in human life where we just have to put things on hold and make a mental note. One day I'd like to know about that. And I have found over the last 50 years that many, many things which used to be really puzzling. I've done a long journey around and I didn't know it was going to do this. But then I get to somewhere else and suddenly that's not a problem anymore um, because I've seen a larger vision within which that is contained. Uh, and, and those are always good moments. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Dogato podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.